And the crisis engulfing the NRL is intensifying this morning, with the league and its broadcasters, including this very network, meeting today to shape the 2020 season. NRL legend and nine commentator Gus Gould joins us now. Good morning, Gus. Morning, Alex. How are you doing? I'm well, thank you, my friend. And the plan is for the NRL to return on May 28. We've got Australia's Chief Medical Officer, Brendan Murphy, saying on this program yesterday that it's premature. The Federal Sports Minister has said it's a bit ambitious. And then Peter Volandis quoted this morning saying he is super confident of a return and wants an end to the scaremongering. Is late May, Phil, is late May a return then the right move? Well, the NRL last week made an announcement that May 28th was its goal, uh, but with very little detail around that, about whether it would be a revised, modified, shortened competition. And I think that's what started to get broadcasters nervous as to they hadn't been included in on those discussions. There was also no real remedy to what would happen around border control, with what happens with the Warriors, getting teams in and out of Queensland, whether or not everyone's going to be isolated in one area, what that area would might be. So there was very little information around that May 28th target. But I guess the game's got to give itself a goal. It's got to give itself a planning time frame to get the players back in training. And that will have to be influenced by government and the medicals, obviously. We see differing opinions about that. It's probably optimistic, I would say, but they've got to start somewhere. They've got to have a goal, especially the players too. And bosses here at the Nine Network, they've accused the NRL of wasting hundreds of millions of dollars over several years. A big stoush. And in your scathing article, Phil, the Sydney Morning Herald article, you called that criticism blunt, honest and accurate. Is that criticism justified, do you think? Well, of course it is. And it was the, yeah. it was the sort of uh, outburst that the game needed to hear. Uh, I think the broadcasters need to be included on whatever is the future of this game. I know that Hugh Marks, our boss here at Channel 9, is extremely committed to Channel 9 and the long-term future of Channel 9. I have great confidence in the NRL chairman, Peter Volandis, and I think their meetings will be um, you know, quite significant in the future of the game. They have to work out a long-term plan as, rather, uh, as well as what they do in the short term, and I think they're the two best people to do it. Yeah, Daily Telegraph rugby league writer Phil Rothfield... Uh, Gus has called your comments absurd. Your response to that? I've got no response to him. How come? I just don't rate his opinion. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> it goes without saying, I think. OK. <laughs> and is this time for the game and its broadcasters to be working together, do you think? Should we, we be working together and, and not having this very public stoush? Uh, well, I think it's probably a discussion that needed to be had. It, it should have been unnecessary, but it had got to the point where Channel 9 needed to, to clear where its position was on this. And that will now happen, hopefully, behind closed doors when Hugh Marks and Peter Volandis meet, where it should have been in the first place, mind you. Uh, but I'm sure that those two men have got both the short-term and long-term future of the game uh, well in their thoughts. And I know that Hugh's very committed to rugby league in the future. OK. And, Phil, really quickly, if you were offered Todd Greenberg's job, would you take it? No. OK, there you, there you have it, Phil Gould. Thanks so much go, uh, for, for your insight. We love your insight. We appreciate it. And we can't wait to hear your dulcet tones on the uh, NRL very, very soon. Thank you so much, Phil. Thank you, Alex. Sounds like he's sucking up to you, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly does, doesn't he? <laughs> More articles. I mean, I wouldn't have asked any of those questions to you. <laughs> I thought you were doing the interview, actually. <laughs> no, I was too scared. <laughs> Thanks, Thank you, Phil. Phil.